is a cute baby. Tillamook factory. Oh no, Tillamook creamer. I don't know why I always say factory, but it is the factory of the Tillamook. Right. Hey everybody. Hi. So we're about to step into the Tillamook creamer. Yes, ice cream, cheese, all the good stuff. That's right. The, some masks you gotta get. <laughs> Explain to me what we're about to eat. We are going to have cheeseburger, mac and cheese, grilled cheese, and some tomato soup. Nice. I guess you could say all American classics. I was so confused by these things because usually you would want to go up to a spot and then pick it up. But with these, they're so unique that you just sit in your spot and they track you where you're at, at the, within the place and uh, they bring it to you. So it's kind of cool. So here comes so our food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I hate you too. All right, Paul. What do we have? First is show you the classic mac and cheese. <gasps> Yum. Ooh, the cheeseburger with the hoagie bun. With what? The hoagie bun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next up, grilled Ooh. cheese. Ooh, and the cheese is all melted. Let's see the soup. Wow, look at that steam. We got our tomato tomato soup right here and the grilled cheese. Oh. That's what you want in a grilled <laughs> cheese right there. Yeah. It passed the test for the cheesy part. Gotta just do the the way that everyone should do it, right? Yeah. Take a bite, it's like that perfect crunchy feel. Mm. It's so good. Tomatoes, pickles, some, a little bit of lettuce, this and some secret sauce. I think every cheeseburger should have buns like these. These buns are the best. It's really nice and tender. The cheese is perfect. Uh, it's just it's a really good cheeseburger. It's your average burger? I'd say just right above average. Nice. It's a really good cheeseburger. I can have one of these every day. <laughs> All right, last on our things to try is the mac and cheese. This is the classic mac and cheese. There's a seasonal one that's the twist, but we decided just to go with the mac and cheese because we never had it before, so let's try it. So it looks like it has a few different types of cheeses in here. But let's go with mm. It's not the best mac and cheese. Mm. The noodles are overcooked. And I think it's just too much of the cheese. It's like over trying on the mac and cheese. Kiddos might like this, but kids might not like it because it's not your usual mac and cheese. So I think the best is definitely the winner is the tomato soup and grilled cheese is by far the winner of all these. Okay guys, new discovery in the tomato soup. It's not just tomato soup, it's got some cheese in the tomato soup. So 
let's give it the cheese and tomato soup. I think I would just keep that down. It, it wasn't a great texture, so I would just So the food was, it was good. Grilled cheese and tomato soup was the best, but after trying Paul's cheeseburger, it actually was the best. So yes, the cheeseburger was a clear winner in my books and Paul's books. So what's to do next, Paul? Let's check out this boat right in front of us. Oh, this is a replica of a boat that they used to do back in 1854. They used to ship butter, milk to different places that's cool yeah. and this is just a replica of the size yeah, of the boat yeah. so this lasted until 1992 in 1854 they built the morning star to carry their dairy goods to market in other words the map draws that it, it goes from here all the way to portland and that's where they were carrying the goods wow it takes 10 pounds to make one block, one pound of cheese. That's a lot of milk. Cheese. <laughs> Jeez. Mm -hmm.